<laughs> oh, Brian! <laughs> take it easy. I'll take a shower later. <laughs> like, you might like some help. Oh, I see you came prepared. To light the fire. <laughs> mm. Do you think we have enough charcoal? Oh, I think we had some in the basement, but I couldn't find it. I'll go down and take a look. Okay. Oh, wait. Try this. What is it? Try it. Barbecue sauce. Whoa. Oh, it's hot, Jackie. It's my own recipe. Extra spicy. It's very oh, hot. It's Hamburgers are all done. You finally got that sauce tasting, right? Mm -hmm. Help! Did you hear somebody calling for help? Help! My grandma! Help! Next door is Mrs. Johnson. Help! She lives alone, over there. Help! Help! What happened? I, I don't know, I just found her like this. What do you think we should do? Uh, just let me think a minute. I wonder what happened to her. Anyone can face a situation involving an unknown medical emergency. And when that happens, it's normal to feel helpless or indecisive. Mrs. Johnson? Mrs. Johnson? She's breathing. She feels real cool and sweaty. Monitor the ABCs. See that the airway is not obstructed. What's your name? Um, Alec. Alec, listen, everything's gonna be okay, all right? We're gonna get help for your grandmother. Is this how she looked when you came outside? Yeah, but she was sort of twitching around. Where's your phone? Um, in the kitchen. I'm gonna call 911. Come on, let's go. Hurry back. Over here. Alec, does your grandmother take these? I, I, I'm not sure. I think so. 911 emergency line. May I have a number you're calling from? Uh, yes. Um, 555-1969. We need an ambulance. There's a woman here with a medical emergency. I wonder if she had a problem with her medication. What happened to her? Poisoned? A stroke? But what about the twitching? Did she have a seizure? Not sure what else to do. Mrs. Johnson, can you hear me? Paramedics are on their way. Probably about five minutes. How's she doing? Well, she's still unconscious. She's breathing. She threw up again. I wish I could find a clue as to what's wrong with her. Do you think she fell and hit her head? I don't know. I feel so helpless. You're doing fine. Do you need anything else? No, thanks. In this case, Jackie did all she could do. She followed the emergency action principles. Jackie checked to see if Mrs. Johnson was conscious. She cleared the airway and made sure Mrs. Johnson was breathing. Brian called 911 right away. When Mrs. Johnson vomited, Jackie kept the airway clear. By following this basic plan of action, Jackie did all that was necessary until professional help arrived. Come on, Al, let's go meet the ambulance.
By following the emergency action principles, you can respond confidently to any medical emergency. Over here. 